I think the biggest thing that makes me different from other sneaker collectors is simply I have a different mindset. I know these are cool material items, but at the same time, I can use these and leverage them to elevate my life at the same time and still wear dope shoes along the process. My name is DJ Willingham, also known as DJ Sneakerhead, and I'm from Portland, Oregon. The biggest thing that sparked my interest in sneakers and that made me a sneakerhead was literally when I came into this world. My parents had me laced from day one, and they kept me laced throughout my whole life the golden era of the 90s. So it was dope having all these cool shoes and seeing these photos. And then I'm like, man, when I got older, I was like, I gotta keep this legacy going. The biggest legacy I wanna leave in the sneaker community is not only just having a dope collection, but being the start and the root for other people having their dope collections and having a creative safe place for them to come and talk sneakers, meet other people in the industry at higher and lower levels, and giving them a space some of the biggest trends I'm seeing right now that's coming in the game when it comes to especially the remix is the low top cut. We saw it with the high tops, with the Jordan 1s and those different things and now we're starting to see those low top iterations and it's trending heavy. A lot of people like wearing lows more so you've seen a 2-3, low cut. New Spizike, low cut. I think it's important to preserve and pass down the knowledge from different generations and the culture of shoes just because everybody isn't growing up in that era. And as we see, people are getting farther and farther away from the Jordan era. And how can we keep that alive? How can we share that same memory, those same passions, those same moments? People watch the tapes, they see those things, but it's a whole different feeling when you put on that pair of shoes and go out. I want my personal contributions remembered by the next generation, by the impact that I have, on them and how I can help them grow and then how they eventually take that same thing that they learn from me and then put that onto their family and then they grow and have that same thing and then the stories can be told and let everything unfold from there.